Hello everyone, Isaac here. <laughs> Hello everyone, Isaac here, back in another video, and today I am bored. So I'm gonna make a video. I just had this idea, and um, it's basically me making fun of myself, because that's basically how the content on this channel. One, one half making a fool out of myself, and the other half making animation. God, I really need to make more skits, but uh, don't you worry, don't you, don't you worry, fellow viewers. I actually do have a skit in mind that I will eventually make. I don't know if it will be on Halloween, but uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, oh god, uh, but uh, anyways. So what do I have in mind for today? Well, it's very simple. We're taking a look at my uh, concept for the Isaac Cook chess set. Duke it out well with your favorite Isaac Cook characters. Okay, no, not really. That's not what we're looking at today. But we're looking at something uh, ten times worse. To get worse. So, yes, uh, before I go on, this is a binder full of really old drawings that I made. As you can see, like this one right here. It's old and extremely crusty looking. God, that's how I used to, that's how I used to draw me? What is that? Like, look, look at this. You say that I've never uh, evolved. Look at that. Look at that. Sexy, handsome rogue. Look at that. He's so good. He was made into a chess piece. But uh, and then, and then, and then you look at this, and then you look at that, and and that's apparently supposed to be Jaden, cause yes. Also, uh, donkey, donk, danky dong, danky, danky dong. Yes, danky dong. Okay, let's actually get into the main point of this video. Guys, it's about Pac-Man. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pac-Man world. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, yes, as you can see right here, you might be wondering, Isaac, what is that? What is that in your hand right now? Yes, I am dead serious. Well, well let's take a look at that one later. Uh, I am dead serious when I, uh... Oh, I'll be dead to deduce myself. My name is Wan E. Coyote. Genius. It's kind of cool looking, actually. But, uh, anyways... So yes, folks, I actually made cards, like trading cards, like Pokemon cards, for the Isaac Cook universe. Look, see, it's even trademarked, so you mofos trying to come at me making bootlegs, you're gonna get uh, DMCA'd at the- okay, I'm kidding, but uh, yeah, so this is the Isaac Cook cards, or I guess just Isaac Cook cards. Um, this was a, like, oh- a very uh, interesting project I did, uh, spanning a ton of. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh my God! What the fu But anyways, um. So, oh my God, it's staring at my soul. Anyways, okay. So this is uh, the Isaac Cook cards, like I just said. You probably hear a baby in the background, but whatever. So, this was a little passion project I did around, let's say, whatever. It was a long time ago. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, they're ranging like what? 50 cards? And let me tell you, okay? Disclaimer, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So, okay. This was made around time before characters like uh, Garbage and Recycle and I, I think, Buz no, I don't think that's the next chunk, but like before the time Garbage and Recycle, Costa Rica, uh, Ricky Goldberg, uh, Scrap, by uh, before all those guys were invented. And for <clears throat> for the people in the, in the freaking uh, comment section who's going to be like, who the fuck is Ricky Goldberg and Scrap Bike? Well, guess what, guys? Uh, promotional time. I have a Twitter account and a Facebook and a Debian art, so check that out if you want to. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, you'll see more of, like, more of my original characters on there if you want to. So anyways, actually, getting into it finally. We're four minutes in and I haven't even opened the first card. I apologize. So without further ado, let's take a look at card number one. And take a while, guess who it is. Yes, folks, it is Adolf. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, Isaac, Co Isaac Cook. So, okay, so here's how it was basically uh, this whole thing was designed and how it was going to go. Um, so we have fat. His type is fat. I, I, I don't know. 
Level is apparently zero, so, uh, yeah, for being card number one, he sure does suck a lot. Okay, so, he only has, um, two moves here. A uh, hammer, bonk, uh, bonk, I don't know, okay, and shut up, he had enough of your bullcrap. Yeah, uh, it doesn't tell you, like, anything about the moves, it's just, uh, the move and a slight description of a kind of, yeah, but look at that! Look at that piece, that is... Oh, that is, that is, that is, ooh, that looks pretty, pretty cringy, not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, that's card number one there, you can move on to the side there, you slightly see. Uh, okay, next is, uh, oh my god, what is, what is that, what is that? Is that supposed to be Jaden? Okay, hold the phone. Okay, so, uh, going to the Isaac Cook comics, number... Oh yeah, uh, the Isaac Comics, it's an ongoing project that I've been doing for actually an extremely long time. I should really get these comics like printed and published already. But uh, anyways, so as you can see here, this is how I draw Jaden now. Uh, not the actual person, the, uh, the OC that Jaden has. So yeah, also, uh, this is actually based off a comic, Jaden, uh, whatever, uh, and this is, this is how I originally drew him. This is how I drew originally, what is with the hair? Why does he have a 58? What, because Jaden's original YouTube channel name was Jaden Plays Games 58? But now it's just Jaden does stuff. But anyways, uh, okay, so his type is apparently friend, okay? His level's over 90,000. Okay, so you're telling me in my own card collection, I'm level zero and Jaden is over 9,000? Why is my card super damaged? Like, my card is the only one here that's completely damaged. What the heck? I did not give a crap about my original card, I guess. God, Jesus. But anyways, however, okay, so friend level over 9,000, Jaden, that means, thank you, mean god. Okay, I already hate this. Uh, animation, does some animation. What does that even mean? Does some anime? What does he do? Does he, like, summon animation things? I, I what does that means mean? I know Jaden likes to use memes a lot. Like, I swear to God, he uses that Family Guy death pose a lot. But, like, bro, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, at least with Isaacs, it made a little sense. But this, oh my God. Okay, this one was probably actually worse. Way worse than the Isaac one. Okay, next is, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, what? That's how I draw this Nick Schnook? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, these are real last, by the way. Oh my god, okay, hold the phone. I got a freaking. Okay, okay, okay. This is how I draw Biznix now, okay? Real nice, real clean. It actually sort of looks like a copy of me. This is how he was originally drawn! Looks nothing like me! But, uh, yeah, this is Biznik. His type is apparently copy. His level's also zero. Biznik Schnook. Copy. He's a clone. Ugly. Like, ugly thing. I... Like, ugly thing I seen in a week. Oh, that's a... That's a quote from a YouTuber. He's like, like, ugliest thing I seen in, like, a... Like, a week. I don't know why. Copy. He's a clone. What does that mean? Would he, like, copy a move? That's all I can think of. Also, just Jesus Christ. I'm so, trying so bad. Alright, next one here. Oh my god, we are. Oh. Oh, we are getting into the obscure route, are we? It is I, Freeny Foosbear. I have finally returned after so long of vengeance. I'm gonna slit your throat. Well, okay, Jesus. What, you like dark humor? Not that much. Jesus, Freeny Foosbear. Okay, yeah, but okay. In all seriousness. Okay, so if you've been a long time subscriber, which, oh my god, bless you, um, this is 3D Foosbear. Actually, his name is, for the longest time I did not know this, but his name is actually wrong. It should not be Foosbear, it should be Fozbear, because that's an O, not a U. Yeah, um, but yeah, this is a 3D Foosbear, an original, I think one of my oldest characters, but he's not really an original character per se, and he was obviously, uh, Based off of that thing. Um, but anyways, his type is derp. His level is free, because why not? Uh, derp, herpa derp, lanky, he can... Oh, am I supposed to pronounce... Is that stretch? What is that? that? That is not stretch! Also, as you can tell, there's an error here. Uh, all the cards, and I'm pretty sure this happens often, a little bit. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the ones with the covers has the, like, the no cards line, while the back of the drawings are blank. Like, just because I think it looks nicer. With 3D Foosbear, I made a mistake, so yeah. 
I guess I just never bothered to actually fix it or redo it. Ne oh, uh... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that there is, uh... There's gonna be a lot of licensed characters in this, so keep that in mind, okay? And there's one character in here that already exists that's... Whoo <laughs> If we'll get to that. Anyways, so here's Mickey Mouse. For some reason, his gloves are yellow. Okay. Rich. Apparently, that's his type. Okay. Did I just make a type up for every single one of these? Uh, level. Whatever he wants to be. That doesn't... Okay. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Backstage. What are you doing here? What, does he, like, kill you? Like, purple guy? What? Money. We gotta have. Oh, it's a reference to uh, one Tom and Jerry meme where he's like, that dude, uh, whose name is actually Mr. Lickaboot. Yeah, I know Dan Schneider probably made that character. He's like, we got to have money. But for some reason, it's like reversed. I, I don't know. It's super stupid. Uh, I mean, I do like me, Mickey Mouse, but like, bro, this freaking... This freaking makes no sense at all, boy. Uh, whatever, I guess. I mean, whatever. Okay, next character is, uh, okay. Alright. I'm assuming the next character is... Yep, it's Goofy. Okay, so we have the Disney trio here, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. So we'll just go for these ones real quick because they're not as interesting, in my opinion. Donald, his type is angry for some reason. His level is 72 uh, for some reason. Uh, I guess I just picked them at random. Donald Duck nonsense. What? Oh, because... Okay. Uh, Rage, better watch out. Doesn't give any indications of what it does. It's just better watch out. How can I watch out for it if I don't know what's coming at me? Anyways, uh, Goofy. Goofy. His type is Goof. Makes sense. Levels 83 and why? Yuck. Funny man. That doesn't even oh, these aren't moves. These aren't moves at all. How the classic? That's not how you spell screen. Where's the C, young me guy? You're such an illiterate. You're not the Floyd Mayweather of YouTube, but instead of actually being good at fighting, you're good at nothing. Okay. Uh, why? Okay. Okay. So Bugs and Daffy. So instead of being separate cards, they're the same, and their designs being based off the uh, intro of the 1970s version of the Bugs Bunny show. That is interesting, but like if I did this now, I would probably make this a variant, not a, uh, not just Bugs and Daffy. Also, Jesus, look at their older design. Ooh. Uh, their type is Looney. Their level is insane. Uh, Duck and Wabbit season. Bang! All the joy cut the lights. Fucking Wabbit Season Bang. What does that even mean? Also, All the Joy Cut the Lights is a reference to the Bugs Bunny Show intro, but uh, I missed the line, Overtune, Curtains, Lights. I, I misheard it's over, uh, the lyrics, Overtune, Curtains, Lights, as All the Joy Cut the Lights back then. Uh, that was actually on a couple pieces of drawings I did where I referenced that, where it's like, all the joy, cut, even though that cut the lights doesn't make any sense, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, next character is Wiley Coyote in the Roadrunner, type is apparently beep beep, whatever that means, level 52. Um, yep, yeah, it's Wiley in the Roadrunner, they look atrocious, so where is Wiley's other arm? Uh, Wiley Coyote in the Roadrunner, Acme, failed products, running, they just run. So what the, what the Roadrunner, like, ram, and then, I don't know, also, why are they separate, why are they not separate entities? Okay, look at that. Jeez. Yeah, as you can tell, these are kind of, uh, the covers are inconsistent, which kind of makes sense because it's not like I printed all these out. That is literally just a warhead, and also, what is that top head, Jesus? Oh my god, we're only at number 10. Oh my god, um, okay, Luigi Mark. what? Okay, okay, for a little background here, for a little while, I did when, uh, I'm drawing the Mario Brothers. I did, uh, for some reason, I made Luigi a casino guy for some reason, and Mario, Dr. Mario, for a long time. I don't know why I did that. Okay, well, a little contradicted myself, but anyways. Uh, Luigi Mario, yeah, so he's a casino guy for some reason. And that, that yes, that is unironic, how I used to draw the Mario Brothers. I can't believe it either. I need to reach out. I need to draw the Mario Brothers one of these days. His type is number one for some reason, or number number one. His levels two. <laughs> Okay, poker, don't get addicted, gung, bang, bang, dude, really? Luigi is, oh my god, okay, Luigi, gun, really? Really, gun, okay, this one's good, it's the Wario Bros, where's their hair? Uh, their type is money and their level's wah, wah, stupid, kill you with his nose, <laughs> kill you with my what's the matter with you, you stupid Aguma face, I kill you with my nose. Oh, that video never gets old, but I... Uh...
yeah, they look horrible. Yeah, the Warriors. What do you expect? I need to also reach out to Warrior Bros. Also, I see you there, guys. Oh yeah, here we go. We got Doctor Mario. Uh, you. What is it? What does that say? Oh, it says you suck. His type is Doctor. His levels. <laughs> his level IQ 2000. Okay. Doctor Mario pills. They always work. Save lives. He's the best. So what is he like a healer or something? I don't. I don't know. And also Mario. Do Do Mario has a full set of hair apparently because I guess whenever he takes off his freaking hat, he has a full set of hair. All right. Next is Woody Woodpecker. Okay. His type is Mallet. That literally makes no sense. His level is Psycho. Guess who? Peck Peck. Ha ha. The crazy laugh. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Yeah, what do you want back here? Like, okay, look at the- I forgot to give him the freaking neck thing he has, god. Marvin the Martian? Why is he one of these? Why? I don't even really like Marvin the Martian that much. Uh, and I think he's like one of the most overrated Legends characters up there with like Taz and Tweety. Okay, his type is a Marsman, his level is 95, Marvin the Martian, A7- 97 pistol, Disintegrator, uh, oh. Secret weapon, where's the kaboom? It's not secret weapon, you fucking dipsh- It's the P-36 explosive space modulator. Yes, I do need to go touch some grass. Anyways, uh, next is Scrooge McDuck, because, uh, why not? And no, guys, this was, uh, this was before Freddy and Pals was invented, so this isn't the Freddy and Pals version of Scrooge McDuck. No, 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 it's the, it's the canon version of Scrooge McDuck. Why is he here? I literally done nothing with him. Outside of Freddy and Pals. His type is Moolah. Why? Literally, Wario Bros has money as their type. So why is Scrooge just a different one? That's that's actually stupid. Scrooge McDuck, a Kang hop. Boing boing. Okay, Kang hop. He hops on his cane. That's an actual reference. First dime has lucky one. What does that do? All right, okay. What do we got? Number sixteen. Okay, moving on here. Okay, here we go. Dino Man. He was uh, one, of, one of the older original characters. Possibly the most obscure original OC character in the Isaac Cook universe. Now, uh, I know there's a drawing of him somewhere, but I'm not fishing it out right now. This was a... Uh, I got a uh, suggestion. I was wanted to draw something in class one day, and someone suggested me to draw a dinosaur with a Minecraft sword and a rock power sneakers. You can't see him here. Uh, yeah, this is Dino Man. Uh, yeah. Should I bring this guy back? Come on, guys. Uh, give me 10,000 likes and I'll bring him back. All right. Uh, his name is Roar. His level's mine. I know I know he's the Minecraft sword, but whatever. Dino Man. Rocket Man. Insert. What does that say? Insert. Oh. Okay. Insert DuckTales Moonfiend here. Okay. Uh, sword. Mining! Mining! Die! Okay, uh. Alright, this one's unique. Uh, this time it's, uh, the thing is made in blue ink. Now, you might be wondering, is it an error? No, because it's the best Isaac Cook original character, Blue Mortimer! I don't even... Okay, I like Mortimer Rat, and I call him a rat, not a mouse. I don't even think the original Mortimer is on here, so we have Blue Mortimer, the best character ever made. Blue, level, blue, blue rave, sweet rave, I'm blue, da da dee da da do yeah. Blue Mortimer! The best Isaac character ever made by mankind. Next is Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, this one is whatever. Oh. Okay, it's Chuck E. Cheese. All right. What card are we at now? 18. Oh my God, we're not even halfway. All right, Rat level. He's the Rat type. His level 55. Pizza time. Cheese pepperoni. There's no descriptions for these cards. There's no thinking description for these cards. Time feeder. Pizza time feeder? Okay. Let's put the show on the road. All right, pizza time players. Let's put the show on the road. I mean, I like the original Chuck E. Cheese, but I don't know, man. Okay, 99% of these characters do not fit at all with the Isaac Cook brand. Okay, this one's also unique. It has uh, me wearing those phony mustache glasses because it's Galden Fweedy. I'm not fishing him out like I did for Freed. Screw you. Uh, his type is bootleg. Makes sense. His level's God because he's a powerful being, I guess. Gold. He will kill. Plush. He turns into a bootleg plush. What does he do when he turns into a, blue, a bootleg plush? I don't know because I'm um, I was stupid when coming up with this. 
Yeah, you can see a problem with most of these is that they don't give, like, descriptions for their attacks. So, what's the point of having the cards? They're only good for collecting reasons. But, yeah, this video is getting, like, 20 minutes long. Next... Oh, my God. Ugh. All right, who do we got next? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, this one kind of works, okay? This type is purple. That makes no sense. It's levels 20. Purple Freddy Killer. Four. Uh, wow. Whole... Whole none. Don't you mean hole in one? It's just whole none. A boo! The lamest excuse for a scare. That is true when uh, coming with the PFK lore. Okay, this one's. Alright, outside of that grammatical error, this one's okay for the most part, alright? I even like the drawing. You can kind of see it sort of improved a little bit. Alright, next is number 21. 21. It's. Yakko Warger. Uh, Yakko Warger? Yakko. Okay, okay, here we go. I actually decided to reuse a type here finally, so he's uses Looney as his type. Okay, cool. I finally reused one. It's levels 99. Uh, yep, it is Yakko Warner. Yakko's world. United States, Canada, Mexico. Insanity. He's an unpredictable on what he does. That is true, but I probably should have used a tag that makes more sense. Like, I don't know, have him like Yak or whatever, because, you know, he's called Yakko Warner for a reason. I don't even know what he's do What is he doing with his freaking... He's trying to do like the like that one image of anim like the Animaniacs logo where he's like doing like this with his like, body or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. All right, moving on. Uh, uh, take a roll, best and assume that the next card is Wacko Warner. Okay, no, <laughs> nope, I was wrong. It's Pac-Man, cause Pac-Man, the classic Isaac Cook character, classic. That's his type. He's levels eighty. And he's actually one of the best looking ones here because Pac-Man has such a simple design I couldn't screw it up. Uh, I do like, however, that the Z is different looking. Waka Waka, he eats you. Bounce, he bounces on you multiple times. Hey, I reference. I just farted there. Hey, I reference Pac-Man world. That's kind of neat. Uh, okay, that one was actually all right. And you assume that the next one we wacko, right? No, it's the Duck Hunt Trio. Yeah, not the Duck Hunt Duo like in Smash Brothers. The Duck Hunt Trio because there's two this time. God, they're also they're also a classic type in the uh, 84. I forgot to put the level down for some reason. The Duck Hunt Trio, and he has Zapper. The Zapper shoots opponents. Hey, oh my God! No way! It only took us 23 cards, but the Duck Hunt, and also being the Duck Hunt Trio, but they actually we actually put in a proper description now for one of the attacks, kind of. Let's go! Oh, praise the Lord, bring out the birthday cake. But, uh, yeah, anyways, the next one. Uh, cheeky laugh, like the 80s. <laughs> Stupid dog, you're making me look bad. Okay, uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, oh, okay. All right, okay. I actually learned to like this one. This drawing's kind of neat. He's actually... It's spring trap, obviously. It's almost 50. His type is spring lock, whatever that means. Uh, but he's actually surrounded by a fire, and he looks decent for the most part. Uh, you can kind of see I'm starting to improve just a little bit. Burn corpse. He burn you like... What? He burns you like he did. Twice. Yeah. Spring locked. He trapped you in a suit crushing you. Okay, these are starting to make a little more sense. You know, the, the moves are actually making sense now. Thank God I finally started to learn from my mistakes. Next character's King DDD. Okay. I guess, I mean, this one, I mean, he was in a... Like a couple of videos I made. I mean, the pass me a drink, bartender. Oh my god, my sister Shen's been requesting me to make that one, uh, re remake that one, and I have not yet. Whoopsie. Uh, type Peng 1 level 100. King DDD, Jet Hammer, powerful swing. Inhale, he sucks you up and spits you out. Alright, alright, we're actually getting moves down. The drawings are still very bad, but hey, we're actually. Oh my god! It only took. 26 cards, but finally, we got to a proper Isaacu character that's been around for this very day. Garbage and Recycle! Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what we're going for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Yeah! Okay, their type is trash and levels 37. Garbage and Recycle, let's go. I guess this time I finally, finally got to guard. Like started uh, doing using those characters. I finally did it, and now and now here we go. Okay, so abuse. They both fight each other, and the opponents get uh, get sucked in somehow. Okay, there's no suck, but whatever. In somehow. Oh yeah, because actually originally I had the idea for garbage and recycle. Both of the brothers would occasionally abuse each other. Recycle would do it less often than garbage, but he would actually fight back sometimes. But I decided to drop that part of his character because I feel like making them both abusers. 
would be like you know less sympathetic towards them i don't know i just thought it was kind of boring to have them both attack each other you kind of need like if you had like for example ren and Stimpy, you had both of the characters acting like ren it wouldn't really be that it would, you wouldn't have that dynamic really anymore so you i gotta have like one mean one and one nice one but uh, anyways back to this um loser <laughs> loser you get thrown in trash and shit to the dump you're going to brazil you remember when that thing was a meme yeah that was pretty funny okay back to characters that make no sense tom cat jesus so he used to draw tom god uh slapsticks is type level 77 smack rams you with a club the classic cow and pain ah! yeah i'm not doing like a whole full blown scream even though that's basically what i'm doing this entire video yeah also uh the arch bad mm -mm. next is uh Okay, I guess we're going back to, you know, licensed characters or whatever. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, 29. Hey, his level actually makes sense because that's a reference, I guess, to one of the, you know, when the first Oswald short was made. Uh, his type is classic. We finally use that type again. Oswald, shock. Shocky with a remote. Oh, like an epic mini. Mickey, uh, Fenner uses paint to brush you. F to use a paintbrush to fin you. Oh. What does it say? I've. Oh, I thought... No, I think I know what it's... I thought Mickey had this. I think that... Yeah, that's what he's trying to say. Well, no, now Oswald has it, baby. Woo! Oh, my God. We got to another original character that's been around for this day. This very day. Costa Rica. Jesus Christ. Okay, first of all, I tried putting in the entirety of Costa Rica Pura Via, which I don't do that anymore. Let me, like... Like, for example, I don't, like... Okay, for something like this, like, close-up shots, I did it, but... For stuff like far away shots, I don't add the squiggly. Uh, like, I don't put down the full name because it's too much. But uh, clearly, I haven't learned that. Also, like, Jesus Christ! I guess this was the first time I tried doing the slash eyes, but God, they look weird. And where's his tail? But uh, yeah, Costa Rica Pirvita. His type is range. An actual archetype in a video game <gasps> for the eyes of cards. What? Okay, um. Costa Rica, Pura Vida. Okay, yeah, that's his name. Slaps, he reaches and slaps you. Banana, chill out, relax, and eat a banana. Sounds like Costa Rica to me. Uh, for some reason, the head of this one is really small, but, uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, Blue Bear. Blue Bear, you remember him from the from the Costa Rica short, the all-time magnum opus of my channel, and the Quest for the Golden Egg video? Yeah, okay, so his, uh, his type is blue, because he's not actually blue. Trample, just look at the name. I mean, just look at that. What? What does that even mean? It's a blue bear. It's not like he's called like Big Bear. I mean, that would or Stomp Bear or whatever. It's just Blue Bear. It doesn't make any. Sense. Also, I do like how I added the like the slash mark. Cause uh, you can probably barely see it, but like Blue Bear has this really noticeable dirty slash mark. Also, I just realized something that I have to do. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, sorry, folks. I had to put my clothes in the dryer, and I got some ice cream. Oh, hold on, man. I'm gonna eat this. Mm, bro, that ice cream is hitting different. I was eating like how they eat those straw breakers and Ed, Ed and Eddie, but um, also I've been watching Ed and Eddie. It's really just good. Check it out. But anyways, I'm not quite sure. Uh, back to this uh, bear hug. He squeezes you with a giant hug. First of all, I don't think that's how you spell squeeze. But uh, second of all, that's a uh, decent move, I guess. It makes sense. Number thirty-one, maybe. Oh my god, we finally got back to a character! One of the original three, I guess you could call them. Or. Original five. Um. Original six. Uh. No, I uh, like. Whatever. Whatever, you get my point. Uh, the, uh, the goons! The goons! Penguin and Penguin, but originally called just Penguin. It was a horrible name, I know. His type is Penguin? Uh, their type is Penguin. Uh, levels 95, evil plan. Not as good as Piggy in the Brain or Robbie Rotten. Uh, sure, why not reference those guys in, uh, in the thing? And just completely, you know, you know, fill it up with useless information. Not actually put anything good down. Fish slap. Slap you with a fish, they stole. Makes sense with the characters. And then Guan, we eat it right after. I also love how this one, uh, the, uh, Isaac, uh, Isaac face there is extremely small. But anyways, next character is, uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, the best, uh, this doesn't make any sense, Wiggler, 
Wiggler from Mario from Mario 64 level 64 his type is angry ram and ragey rams you a flower pole and a big ball upon it spit out of wiggly flower and aimed at you oh my god I give it also good description okay so a little bit of backstory here so okay so I have this Wiggler plush and basically uh, so, uh, I, I played with it sometimes, and I thought, hey, what if I make Wiggler an actual character? Basically, the history of the goons, garbage were cycling Costa Rica, but unlike those guys, I never made Wiggler an actual proper character, so now he just remains dormant, or she, or whatever it is, it remains dormant in, uh, the Isaac of Cards. Next is, um, my father. Uh, okay. Can't wait to have the epic battle of, uh, a dad beating up their uh, their son. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay, so his type is hairy. I mean, my dad is pretty hairy. Uh, level 10, Faja Rant. He rants about his job. <laughs> I was more of an inside one, uh, inside Jack. Uh, Team of T fan, he shows you his collection. My father's got a pretty big collection. And I'm assuming since he wants me to do this, uh, shout out to his eBay account, Richard's Retro Relics, because why not? Uh, oh, woo! Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, here we go. So, originally, I guess, uh, number 33 was gonna be it, but I decided to make a couple Isaac Hook card special editions. So, these special editions are more like wild characters, even though, if you've seen here, these are some pretty interesting characters. But, um... Yes, yeah, so the Isaac Cook Special Editions, and we start off with Classic Isaac. <laughs> Whoa, it's funny because like this is how. Okay, so if I draw like Classic Isaac now, this is exactly what I, uh, how I would draw him, like unironic, like ironically. I draw him purposely bad, but back then this is how I'd unironically draw Isaac in general. But anyways, his type is classic. I mean, it makes sense. He's Classic Isaac, the first, the one that started it all. It's not a move! King, checkmate? You would have a crown. Yeah, that's true, because for some reason I get... Actually, um, the whole Isaac Cook character actually came from the concept of, a uh, of a Mario boss, where I thought it'd be cool if, like, he cop like, the boss copied Mario or the, like, other boss's moves, and I decided to ba base, quote-unquote, base him around, like, me, because I'm an egotistical, uh, douche, um... And then that eventually just came my OC Isaac, and I had a crown on for a little while, but then I decided to ditch it and replace it with a top hat, and here we are now. Well, also replace his eyes with the slash marks like Big Nate, but anyways, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's classic Isaac. Um, uh, don't even have the hair, even though I'm assuming Isaac originally did have the hair. Uh, oh, special number two, okay, I should just call it, oh, okay, nope, because I instantly go back to calling the special edition. Oh, no, for some reason I flip-flop between them. Wait, what? Okay, so this one's called Special Number 2, and this one's called Special Edi Edition Number 2, and this one is called Special Edition Number 3, and then the next one's called Special Edition Number 5, so this one's supposed to be, um, Number 4, technically speak. Wait, no. Okay, no, this one's supposed to be Number 3, and this one's supposed to be Number 4. Whoopsie-daisy. Um, uh, but, uh, anyways, next is... Sonic, which is surprised that he did not show up at all in the original set for some reason. Okay, so Sonic, he's a speed architect. Oh my god! A level 128. Oh my god, save the video to a new file as it extends the maximum file size. Whoop, oh god, okay, I better get through these. Uh, Sonic, that's no good. Don't you dare, don't you dare sexually assault someone. Uh, Blue Shriek Speed Bite. Also, don't actually uh, sexually assault anyone. Uh, Blue Shriek Speed Bite. So I guess he just runs into opponents, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's Sonic. That hand thing doesn't make any sense at all. Next is on! Uh, next is on! Oh, here we go. Next is Philip the Dog. His level type is 128, just like Sonic's. His type is Dog. You might know Philip as my old FNAF OC. Yeah. I'm actually planning on uh, reinventing Philip as a completely different thing, but uh, stay tuned for that if I ever show that concept. Uh, Philip the Dog, saxophone. You like jazz? Bye. He got rabies. Oh yeah, the animatronic dog totally got rabies. Uh, okay, Isaac Hook special cards number three. Okay, uh, Sylvester, because he totally deserves a special card. Uh, I mean, I like Sylvester, but still, Jesus, this is what I used to draw him? God, he looks nothing like him. Uh, his type is spit for some reason. His level is 55. Um, suffering suck a hash. This is a sloppy. Okay. Suffering suck a hash. This is a sloppy word. 
Nine lives! That's okay, he got eight more. So I guess if you kill him, he's got nine more chances. Wow, that's overpowered. Uh, number five is, um, uh, okay, Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Framed. Apparently that's his type instead of, like, something like classic. and hope it's framed, whatever that means. Level E1, Roger Rabbit. It's a pretty bad drawing, but whatever, I guess. That's kind of the norm you'd see here. Um, who framed? He gets framed for a crime and everyone attacks him. Oh, so it's kind of like that taunt mechanic from World of Mayhem. Okay. Whistle. He calls Benny. Then he runs over people. So he just calls him. Hey, Benny, can you come over here and just absolutely row kill these mofos? Yeah, I know my Roger Rabbit voice sucks. Anyways, uh, next is number six. Wacko Warner! Hey, Wacko! Oh my god, he's a face. That's not- that doesn't look like anything like- That doesn't look nothing like Yakko. What the heck? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, I couldn't find Yakko Warner, but, uh, yeah, that- that face for Wacko is inaccurate to, uh, Yakko. And no, I- I think I didn't make, uh, this one before- I don't know if I made this one before the Yakko car. I don't know if I, like, split, like, the classic, like, the original line and then the special line. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, Wacko Warner, big mallet, a nice strong hammer to the head. Ouch, a nice shiny anvil. Falls down and crash. Well, you should probably have a move where, like, Wacko eats something. I feel like that would have been more in character, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Who cares? Uh, we can't change the past. So anyways, Isaac Special Edition number seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I knew this one was coming eventually. <laughs> What's next? Are we gonna get oh, Barack Obama as the next car? <laughs> okay, yep, okay. Folks, this is Gordon Rams. <laughs> this is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> the most iconic Isaac Cook character. Known for Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares. He uh, makes good food, apparently. He's <laughs> type of chef is almost 50 uh, stuff hell he makes you work at hell's kitchen you code nuts okay food he heals himself with a nice meal but yeah Gordon Ramsay folks the mo god okay oh why didn't I make Gordon Ramsay okay Gordon Ramsay has a card yo Gordon Ramsay you want to hit me up uh, you can have this card for free I don't care go wild with it okay I don't care do something with it okay <laughs> Oh, they were they were lying with the special attack. Or oh, this is on the same level as the next card being Barack Obama. Captain Lou Obama! The guy who played Mario in the Mario cartoon! It's a stolen Luigi! You didn't make it! I don't know if you voiced Mario in that one, but he voiced uh okay, so in the Mario Brothers Super Show live action segments, uh Mario is played by Captain Lou Obama, who was a fighter. His type is PSA, his level's 10. Captain Lou Obama, do the Mario, swing your arms from side to side, just say no. You do drugs, Google the hair before you die. Iconic, iconic. But where are this? Uh where is this overall? This is really weird. Uh, also, I love how uh, Captain Lou Obama has uh, hair and the actual, I mean, I guess Dr. Mario has hair, but like Luigi doesn't look, well, whatever. Next is, uh, oh my god, okay, uh, next is, okay, next is Obese and Shadow Man from the Honda Stock YouTube channel. Uh, their type is Derp, which is actually the same for Feedy Foos Bear. Uh, birthday, they throw a birthday party? Movie, oh, movie better than Endgame, you die of cringe. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, that doesn't really make sense, but yeah, uh, hottest dog. If you want to hit me up and get this card for free, just like with Gordon Ramsay, I totally will do that for you. And next is uh, Jonathan, the next uh, animatronic OC that I made alongside with Philip. This type is robot, apparently. Why is it not Penguin? That would make a lot more sense, you idiot. Uh, Jonathan, level twenty, magic. He does magic tricks. Uh, he'll do tricks thinking he is imaginary. Okay. Slide, he somehow slides on the belly, even though he's a robot. Hey, at least I'm being self aware with it. But, uh, yeah, Jonathan. Very interesting character. Oh my god. Last two cards left. The last two cards left. Let's go. What's behind card? Special edition number 11, which would probably be like number 12, actually. My cousin Gary. <laughs> what is this card? My cousin Garrett, baby. Even though he's never appeared in a single YouTube video or anything. Outside of that one art piece I made of his uh, upcoming movie. Uh, Garrett. His type is cousin. Level 18. Garrett. Minecraft. He's very good at it. 
chip. You can chip your two for the classing. This one. Oh my god. Okay, Gary, if you want to hit me up and get this card, look, it just it looks just like you, my man. You got the noodle uh, hair. But uh, actually, with that chip tooth thing, uh, that's actually based off a true story. Because uh, my coach and I were fighting, and he chipped my tooth, and this piece is actually filling. Uh, that was a bad experience at the dentist's office that day. But uh, next, in the final Isaac Cook card in the special edition, the original line was uh, uh, Richard. Faja, uh, but here is the uh, technically final of the Isaac Cook cards. It is. Oh, um. Dot. Okay. Um, Dot Warner. Uh, type Looney, level 57. Pet. If you like to see it. Cube. Oh. Actually, fun fact: that was the first time I ever drew a dot. Uh, and uh, grab your drawing. Yeah. So that's. We started with Isaac, and we started with Isaac, and we ended with Dot Warner. Oh, what a way! Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I never really understood why the last card I did was Dot. Like, uh, it makes sense because you know you had Wack Yak on Wack. It wouldn't make sense to include Dot as well. But like, the last card. I mean, if it was like the last card was someone like Garrett, that would have been nutty. That would have been insane. That would have been an explosion. But it kind of come out as a whimper. I mean, I, I like Die. It's just, it's just like you know, it's kind of pathetic. Uh, but yeah, that is the entirety of the Isaac Cook cards. And oh my God, dude, these things are god awful. First of all, they don't even act like Pokemon or trading cards or any. They mainly just act as generic trading cards, like baseball cards, because the moves don't even make sense. They don't have proper descriptions. They don't even make sense most of the time, and. The character choices are god awful. Now, the special editions were absolutely chaotic. Gordon Ramsay, a freaking Captain Alabama, my cousin Garrett. Like, okay, those are unironically hilarious. Also, I have no idea if my face is zoomed in at all. It probably is, but we should just move on to the last couple of things I want to showcase here. Because I was thinking about this. Okay, but first, okay, first of all, I might as well show you. Okay, so you know how Pokemon has the big cards they have? Here I go, the Isaac Cook big card. This is the only big card that I uh, ever made. I'm assuming even back then, I I didn't think I was going to make more. But uh, yeah, the Isaac Cook big card. It's just a regular sheet of paper. And look at that, I did Isaac Cook. Now, going into design aspects here, compared to the original, uh, we could see that uh, his design did change. It had the slashes, finally. As you can see, I was originally going to do the more defined eyes, but I did not. He's, uh, he's freaking level... Uh, he's level... He's level's now 50 instead of, you know, uh, zero, which is cool. Uh, is scream, shut up, hammer, bonk, the same thing, but it was, uh, flipped around this time. But, uh, yeah, that's really about it for the Isaac Cook cards, but... Actually, no, it's not it, because today, on this very day of October 11th, I did something that nobody thought would happen because barely anybody knows about the Isaac Cook cards. And that is the Isaac, all of the Isaac Cook cards. Okay, first of all, yes, I'm going to put all the Isaac Cook cards in, a, in this envelope. Yes, including the big one, even though that's going to completely fold it up and stuff. Make it look god-awful, but... There's actually something special in this card that's gonna tilt over the camera. Uh, something special in this card. It's like I'm opening it up to like. Imagine if I open it up and it's like, oh, you're Isaac Cook, you're invited in the Smash Brothers. Oh, but whatever. It's totally not it because I know what's in it. Okay. Yes, folks. That's right. The, I the Isaac Cook cards remade. Four, re four of brand new Isaac Cook cards. Two being remakes and two being original. So let's start with the first one here. Yep, that's right. Isaac Cook, baby. Completely remastered. As you can also tell, the cards are significantly smaller compared to the uh, compared to the uh, original. Original Isaac Cook cards. But they lack in size. They do have an actual good design. Like, look at that. That is night and day, basically. His type also makes more sense. It's actually a real-life uh, type. It's a fighter. He actually has, look, little things describing like the, what the attack is. Hammer. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Prepare for a good bonk. Scream. Shut up. A mood that'll attack all opponents. Cake. He'll heal himself up with cake, cause he ain't sharing. See, it has the same garbage humor as the original Isaac Cards, and it actually makes more sense because the moves actually make more sense. It's actually great. And the next one is garbage and recycle, baby. Oh, oh I gotta find the original. So, so instead of being number twenty-six, they are number two. And yeah, you can see, look at the design. You can also tell that there's a slight design difference. Uh, the outline is a circle instead of a square, because I think the circle looks better. Instead of being a trash type, their type is duo. And they have uh, they don't have levels, actually, this time. Uh, but yeah, see, this is garbage and recycle. Look at the difference in drawing style, bro. Mmm, clean. Mr. Clean up in here. Uh, but uh, their types. So we have... So we have strength, uh, defense, and strength. Isaac had heal. Uh, but uh, we had yeet. Garbage just chucks recycle at the opponents. Hit him. Hit him. Uh, garbage uses recycle as a shield sneak attack. Recycle attacks from behind, giving the opponents a debuff. See, the moves actually make sense now. They actually work as proper moves. And then now the next two are two originals that weren't in the original set. The first one being New OC Raccoon Scrap Bite. If you want to learn more about Scrap Bite, just go to my DeviantArt page. I made a whole history thing about it because I'm not explaining here right now. Basically, Cartoon Star went crazy for a little bit. Now goes after uh, garbage. Anyway, Scrap Bite, Raccoon, he has a club. Type, he's a fighter and a mage. Uh, his, his free attacks here, Lucky Club. You get whacked with his Lucky Club. You know, the one with the nail in it and that. Yes, that is Scrap Bite. Uh, Rose. He'll pull out a Rose and will heal his allies, but Poison Gas will come out poisoning the opponents. Dust Fight. He'll fight all the opponents, damaging all of them. See, actual good moves. And then finally, Ricky Goldberg. Ricky Muller freaking Goldberg. Also, same with Scrap Bite. I have a history thing and I'm with DeviantArt. Similar to Scrap Bite, he was a cartoon star, but then he became like Eddie from Ed and Eddie and became a full time scammer. And he's also based off of Honest John. But anyways, um, going into his moves here, scam your life. He'll steal your health and give it to himself. Uh, Angle-O-Matic. He'll throw the button at the opponents and bang, uh, based on an old comic I did. What it is like, angle o you have a remote control, you press it and an anvil just drops on you. Exploding, explosion balloon. He'll pop while damaging everyone. Yes, this will slightly... Oh, hey, it even has a traditional Isaac Cook uh, format where I forget to include words. Slightly damage your party. But, uh, yeah! Now, compare it, I think these four golden... I think it's more of a quality over quantity thing. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, that's about it. That's the entire Isaac Cook cards from then and now. I'm just gonna do something like this for the thumbnail. Here, maybe something like this. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, world's best film now. Also, it smells like crap in here. Um, it smells like muscle, man. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, what time is it? Okay, it's not telling me. But, uh, this video has been going on for so long. And I think that's about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this blast from the past. And, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, if I get, uh, 10 likes on this video, I will actually tear up and destroy one of the cards but um i don't think nobody wants that so i mean if you do want it then i'll do it uh, i don't know if i will maybe i'll rip up the beak one i don't know but uh thank you guys so much i'm basically damaging it right now by folding it up thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe i'll appreciate it i will give away the isaac cook cards if anybody wants them just kidding i ain't giving them away unless you're giving me like 20 bucks but even then, if you give me 20, uh, 20 bucks for a horrible card, then you're a madman. And yes, I know this is taking forever. This outro is taking so long. I'm just trying to get to my great ending gag here. So, uh, yep. There you go. All the ice cream cards. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye bye The Return of Reading Foods Bears here!